Hey y'all, so how have I been? I know it's been forever. I haven't done any lip crushes, I'm sorry, or makeup tutorials lately, but I hope you will understand that it is summertime. And this is my second summer with seven kids. So for those of you who don't know, um, or who are new to my videos, so I'm a widow um, whose husband passed away from bone cancer and had three little kids and I married a widower whose wife passed away from brain cancer and he has four kids and oh I forgot and we have eight kids actually with my furry baby right here um this is Annie and we got married it'll be two years in November and it is a crazy 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 roller coaster so our kids ages right now or 7, 8, 9, 11, 11, 12, and 14. Next month, three of those numbers change. But um, that's how it goes there. So um, I'm not even going to answer that. So what about that? All my kids are at the pool having fun. Um, how has it been going lately? This summers are hard. For those of you who are stay-at-home moms or even moms that work and have to deal with all the extra stress of all the kids being out and being bored and being entertained and all that jazz, like, I am so exhausted. Like, I am tired. Um, it is hard. It is hard doing this. And um, it would be different, I guess, you know, as we've gone to therapy Cody and I have been in therapy for about, I don't know, a year. Um, but as we've gone to therapy, she's like, Camille, like it, people, when they have a baby, it takes one year to adjust your life to a new baby. And you got four babies and you ch changed your career and you moved and you are dealing with a, um, you know, all the feelings of, losing a spouse plus having a new spouse and trying to navigate in my heart like those emotions and it is rough it is hard um it's been it's been really hard <laughs> and um i'm tired <laughs> and like every day i feel like i'm like crawling up the stairs and i'm just like for the record let me say my kids are amazing. Like, they are so awesome. And um, people come up to us that uh, teach their classes or that know them or associate with them and are just like, I just want to let you know, you know, that so-and-so is in my class and they are amazing and, you know, they are good kids and they are not naughty. I mean, they are sometimes naughty, but on the most part, they are great, Okay. So disclaimer, they are not horrible, awful kids. They are amazing, phenomenal human beings. And I am raising, like, amazing human beings. But it is hard. It is so hard. And it is so tiring and so exhausting. And so I think I'm just, like, ma balancing, like, the emotional investment all day long. You know, it feels like, um, I don't know if you've seen that thing where, like, the plates turn, you know, and you're just spinning all these plates. And it's like once I get one going, you know, then another kid has an issue and then another one, you know, and then it's just like you want to connect and look in their eyes, right, and listen to them and um, have them feel important. And that takes an emotional investment on your part, you know, and so to do that by the end of the day, it's just like I am so tired. And then Cody gets off work and, you know, he has not an easy job as a dentist where, you know, you're right up there you know with medical issues and have stressful days too and I'm just I don't have it when he comes home I'm just like I'm tired like I'm a beast and um I'm not the nicest with him too when he gets home I'm just like he has been accommodating and understanding this summer <laughs> I think we learned our lesson last summer you know that like he he is doing a lot better this year, <laughs> understanding that it's really, really hard on me for all the changes and staying home with everybody is difficult. And so he's definitely been all really supportive lately. Um, but it's hard, you know, I just feel like, um, you know, yesterday as a mom, 
you want to help and want to do things. Oh, I've got a fly, which that's driving me crazy too. All the stupid flies. Um, so yesterday I was like, okay, I taught, and I know Cole, who's my nine year old. I'm like, let's, I know. And I've been having the prompting, like he would love to knit, you know, and I used to own a knit shop before, um, for 10 years and, um, a yarn specialty yarn shop. And so I sold that after I married Cody and moved up here. So I have, it's kind of bittersweet. I haven't picked up my needles too much here and there I have, but it's, you know, I've taught over those 10 years, I've taught hundreds of people to knit and just that used to be my jam, right? Um, so it's a little bittersweet um, to do that. But anyway, I was like, hey, I'll teach you to knit. And Niska, she's been bored, so my she's going to be 15. So I was like, hey, I'll, it's, she already knows how to knit. She's been knitting since she was four. Um, but I was like, hey, go pick out a pattern, and I'll, I'll pick out some yarn because, you know, this sister has some yarn downstairs. And um, But that doesn't stop me because I still went out of town last weekend, Cody and I, and I had to go buy a yarn spore and and buy like six skeins of yarn, right? Um, fiber is good for you. <laughs> so anyway, Niska went and picked a project. And then I got Cole, um, got Cole started and the, taught him how to knit. But if, if, if any of you have knit or learned, you know, are new to knitting, it takes a lot of time and investment on the teacher's part, you know, to keep you going and keep you on the right track and fixing your mistakes. And so then I'm getting Niska going and then I'm winding yarn balls and Blake and Wyatt come in and they're like, hey, we want to, can I wind your yarn ball? So then I'm just like inside, just like, no, leave me alone. You know, like I can only handle so many kids at once, but I didn't say that. And I'm like, sure, sure. Uh, here you go. Start winding this yarn ball. And then they got a huge, got it into a huge mess, you know, and I'm just like, Had him go outside and play um, after that. And then Niska, it was sweet, and came over and sat there and helped me um, wind some skeins. And anyway, and then, you know, as I'm sitting there winding, you know, Aubrey's like, oh, comes in and is like, oh, I wanted you to teach me to do something to, you know, get me. She, I taught her to knit before, but she's like, I wanted you to get me on a project, you know. And it's just like I have a guilt trip after guilt trip. And it's just like, oh, my gosh, I am just trying I don't even know, like, I don't even know. It's it's rough. It's hard. And I feel guilty that I can't do it all. Like, I feel, like, spread so thin that, um, like, I can't be a 100% good mom to one person because I'm being, uh, like, a 60% mom to seven people. And it's hard. Like, every night I go to bed and I just have, like, I just feel guilty, you know? Like, I feel, um... I feel like they deserve better, you know, and, um, they're not perfect and we have a chore chart, you know, and I, you know, find it like as summer's gone on now, they're just getting lazier and they just don't want to get up and do what they need to do. And yesterday, you know, I was just like, Gunner, Tucker, you know, are my older boys. I'm just like Jenga, you know, I had an appointment in the morning cause anyway, my hips been hurting me and been bothering me, but whatever. Um, so I came home from that and like Jenga games are all over the place, the TV's on, the boys are in their pajamas, nobody's ate breakfast, you know, the girls are still sleeping, it's 1030 and I'm just like, seriously? Gunner? Tucker? You know better than this, you know, be examples, be leaders, whatever. It's just like relentless, relentless and I'm just like... Every day I text Cody, just so you know, I'm so sick of kids. Just so you know, I'm so sick of kids. I haven't told you today, I'm so sick of kids. And then I feel like a heartless beast that I'm just like, those kids like all deserve amazing mom. And I had Tucker came up to my room and I was getting ready, you know, after they were doing their thing. And I'm just like, Tucker, I love you. I just want you to know that. And he's like, I know I love, I know I love you too. And I'm just like, you guys deserve a nice a mom and I'm sorry but I feel like such a mean mom and I just don't know what to do you know um getting them on a schedule they know what they need to do but it's just like relentless micromanaging where it's just like I know it would be so much easier to go to work and just be like peace out I'm going to work have some ramen noodles you know <laughs> like see you later and, um, but they deserve better than that, you know, and I knew when I moved up here, Cody didn't pressure me. Like I knew that I was going to, I needed to sell the shops and those kids needed a mom, a full-time mom. 
but it is so hard um it is so hard uh i'm just tired and then i don't feel like i do good enough um for them you know and then i feel guilty that you know i was talking to my um gunner and niska and pulled them aside recently um and just was like, I'm sorry, you know, I apologize. Like, I know sharing your mom isn't easy, and I know you feel like you've been pushed in the background. And Niska just sat there and bawled, and I'm just like, I'm so sorry, you know. Like, um, I, I honestly, like, there's no parent book for this. Like, I know I'm not nice sometimes, and I'm quick to anger, and I'm sorry. Um, and... I'm just trying my best, you know, that's all I can do. Like, if I don't say my prayers and read my scriptures and um, really try to be in a good place and space my own self, then it's like, forget it. It's not happening. Uh, and I like to listen to conference talks on my phone and stuff like that. Um, and so once I had that talk with Niska, that was two days ago, and then I grabbed Gunner, you know, because I could see him kind of, Hey mom, do you want to play Yahtzee, you know? And I'm just putting fire out after fire out after I'm, you know, helping one do this and helping one do that. And somebody's talking to me and Gunner's not very demanding, you know, um, for my attention at all. And so sometimes I know he gets overlooked. Um, which makes me feel really guilty. <laughs> but I felt like I was a way better mom to three kids. Um, and now that I'm not as good a mom as I used to be, so it's hard. <laughs> um, but I know this is the right choice, you know. I know um, being here and being around an amazing um, family atmosphere with the mom and a dad, and Cody's such a good example for them. And um, but it's hard. It's ideal with the guilt, and so I pulled, you know, Gunner aside too, and I, you know, was like, "Hey, you know," he's like, "What? What's going on?" And I sit him down in my room, and I'm just like, he's looking at me. He's like, "Did I do something?" And I'm just like, "Is there anything you like to tell me about?" And he's just like, "No." And I'm just like, "Okay, good. I'm <laughs> just joking." But I have this book in my pocket, and it's called Gunner, and I can read your book, and I can tell something's wrong. Because I'm your mom, and I, moms know, and he's just like, I'm fine, you know, and I was like, no, you're not. Like, moms know, and um, my book of Gunner says something's wrong, you know, and then he just started to cry, and he's just like, I'm, I feel like, um, that I ignore him more and he doesn't get the attention that he deserves and I'm just like Gunner you know and I'm like I'm so sorry I know that you feel that way um and just everybody wants my attention you know which is a good thing because they love me <laughs> but it's also exhausting and it's also like the squeakiest wheel gets the oil right and a couple of um and they're all mine so if I say my kid they're all mine um but so two of mine which were Cody and Lisa's um, two of his little boys, you know, they have a lot of emotional problems, you know, um, and so it is, it's, it's a lot harder, and they take a lot more of my attention and time, and, um, then those that are doing good and getting good grades and, um, not needing a lot more from me, you know, so I, and then I just feel guilty, it's hard, um, it's rough, but, whatever what do you do you go drop them off at the pool and come home and cry and look i'm i'm totally messing up my winged eyeliner by the way oh man i'm wearing two uh, um this lipstick is awesome p.s huh so this is figgy lip liner with requiem kat von d liquid lipstick and on the top is the new Too faced unicorn lip gloss Mm-hmm, it's got it going on today. But anyway, oh my gosh, I'm hanging in there. There's like two weeks left before school starts. And I just, it's been taking, I took all, I took five kids today for back to school clothes and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, seriously. Help me Jesus, survive my life. Um. 
the struggle is real. And it's like every day if I, f I have the choice, you know, like I need to choose to surround myself with light and pray and do the best I can to invite the spirit in my home because that helps me uh, be a better mom and be able to handle it all. Because if not, it's like I would be like gone. I would be like packing my stuff and getting out of here. But, uh, you know, I love all of them and they're amazing, but it's just me. Like I am weak and I am not a good mom all the time. So it's just like <sighs> dealing with feeling um, guilty. So anyway, does any of you guys relate to that? If not, you can just pop some popcorn and watch it and hear my complaining. But my life is also amazing. Like, it is. It really is. I was telling Cody, like, sometimes I pinch myself that I don't have to worry about ordering and payroll, and which actually I do payroll for Cody now, but um, I don't have to worry as much as being an uh, owner and having my shop. It's a lot less stress. It I should, never mind. It's a lot different stress. <laughs> so it's great not to have the stress of that because there's no way I could have the stress of that plus my life right now and be like, no, God knew, like God totally knew, like, no, you can't handle all that. Your kids deserve the best, and that's why i just been um, guilty lately, you know, feel guilty because I don't feel like the best. I feel like sucky. I feel like, anyway, that is my super long rant that I'm just ready for summer to be over and uh, ready to... hopefully get my life together one of these days but anyway if you are struggling mom if you are feeling like you're not doing good enough let me tell you ladies you are not alone and it is hard and the struggle is real and I'm here for you I'm thinking of you and it's not easy if you are a widow trying to do it yourself I feel for you uh, if you are a having issues and problems with your teenagers I feel for you anyway I love you and I hope you're doing good and hopefully when school starts I'll be back doing a makeup tutorial for you guys and giving you oh my gosh our amazing chore chart system I'm I know I said I would give you that like three months ago but then summer started and I just been sucked dry with energy and um so i will get on that and you guys will be like thank you for changing my family's life with your chore chart system so anyway i love you and hope you're having a great summer